Good morning. How are you guys doing today? <sighs> it's almost two o'clock. I have a meeting at two o'clock in Starbucks with a new possible potential designer friend of mine. And we're gonna go over a possible project together. So I'm excited about that. Before I go, I really need a car. Oh, here's one now. Excellent. I'll just take this car. Hello. Hello. How are you? Fine. How are you? Fine. You've been working all day. Mm-hmm. What's that about? Why aren't we working? So a ton of you were saying that I should definitely be doing skits or something like that. And I think that I agree. I would love to do skits. And I just finished working on a website. It's honestly one of the largest projects that I have queued up right now. Um, I'll have to do some edits to it, but other than that, my next couple of days is kind of empty looking. I got a few here and there projects, some things that need to get done. But other than that, I mean, I, I could possibly be doing a skit. I want to, I want to do something fun and different. You know what else I want to do? I want to wish my friend Caleb a very special happy birthday! Woo! Today is your birthday! Caleb and I used to hang out all the time back in the day. Man, I've always said of Caleb, and I think Caleb says this of me, I never like became just like best friends with someone so quickly. And uh, sadly, we don't hang out as quite as much as we used to, but I think we're gonna try and get together for his birthday at some point, and that'll be a lot of fun. Shout out to his wife, Christy, and their little girl, Audrey. How are you guys doing? Hope everything is well with all of you guys. Again, Caleb, hope you had a great happy birthday. Hope that it was awesome, and I hope that it was everything that you hoped for and that God blessed you on your birthday. What's up, guys? So it is a lot later. Uh, obviously, I'm not dressed in nice, fancy, Meeting clothes. Meeting clothes? Meeting clothes. I, I'm picturing just clothes full of meat now. <laughs> <laughs> Meeting. I think that a lot of bears would be attacking me and dogs. You could never go into the woods. No, or you out couldn't. Of your home. No. Because uh, flies would attack you. We're at Publix getting some salad things, stuff for salad. Because we're going to eat dinner with the family. And uh, by family, I. Uh, We'll just have to show you. Yeah, we'll just have to show you. Hey! Hi! So we're having family dinner tonight. Mm-hmm. Um, Who does that include? Oh. Well, it includes this person. Hey! <laughs> what are you doing on the floor? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Wait a second. You're not in a hospital. This is not a hospital. What, what are you doing here, Liz? It doesn't matter. It's just you're just in the floor. It's like you're falling. <laughs> No, she didn't just fall. <laughs> she was playing with her kitty, who she has not seen in, in a very long like time. Like a week and a half. Can How we... do you feel? Do you feel good? Yes, I feel great. Wow, that's so incredible. Look at you using your legs. I know. <laughs> I can walk. Yay! <laughs> so we're over here eating some dinner, yep. and we're really excited because it smells really good. We are, and we're excited because Liz is finally home! Liz is finally home. Thank you for all of your prayers and everyone who has contributed to the GoFundMe. You are amazing. Stephen and Liz say a huge thank you. You guys are awesome. Such a blessing. Oh, he said, Where am I? Oh, I remember this place. Oh, Reunited and it feels so good. Check out this cake. Welcome home, Liz. You kicked GBS. Look at the fancy G. That is great. Is it a dragonfly? Is that what that is? <laughs> Very nice. Oh, we do love us some cake. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Trust. It's hard. I mean, you know, as a Christian, that's what you're supposed to do is trust. But, you know, sometimes it's hard, I guess. Since we're all human, uh, it's kind of difficult, you know, sometimes to trust. And uh, it's sometimes hard to give those things fully over to God because you don't know the bigger picture. You don't know the end game, you know? You don't know where this is going, but you have to anyway, you know? That's where faith comes in and your faith backs up your trust. Have faith so you can trust in the Lord. <laughs> is that cryptic? I didn't mean for it to be. It's just been a weird day, guys. It's been a weird day, but it's all been good. I don't know if I vlogged enough today. I don't know if we finished talking about everything we should have. So I just wanted to sit just for a minute and talk. My client meeting went really well. You know, the one that I was talking about 
going to earlier when I was dressed all spiffy. The designer that I met with, her name is Sarah Beth, and she actually had heard of daily vlogging. I, she brought it up, I didn't, I didn't start it. She said that she saw our little circle logo that has our faces, you know, cut off in it. She loves illustrations and such and thought that was cool. So I just told her that, you know, we have a YouTube channel and we make daily videos and daily vlogs. She went, I know what that is. I mean, not, she didn't say it like that, but you know, I asked her and she said she knew from a blogger one time who would make vlogs. They weren't daily, but she knew what vlogs were. And hey, if you're watching this because you decided to check out our channel, shout out to Sarah Beth. Thanks for meeting with me today. It was awesome meeting you. So yes, this is a different day. There is light outside and I have on a different shirt, but I just was watching this footage that I'm showing to you now and I thought to myself, how in the world did we not get footage of us praising God about the fact that Liz is home? I just wanted to say really quickly, I know I'm breaking all sorts of vlogging rules, but who cares? Praise God for the fact that Liz is home. The fact that she made it through Guillain-Barre syndrome, which usually will take, there's a grasshopper. That's weird. What is he doing? Look at him crawling up the window. Anyway, I'm sorry, I got distracted. He, why is he crawl? I just, anyway. She got through Guillain-Barre syndrome, which is supposed to peak at two to three weeks. In other words, she's supposed to be at her worst at two to three weeks, and she is out of the hospital in less than two weeks, I, I believe. Isn't that amazing? It's totally because of prayers, and it's totally because of God. And I know that there's a lot of people who are going to be like, well, yeah, but she was very healthy anyway, and she's so young that, and you know, the, the, the IVIG and everything else happened, and all of that, yes, all of that did happen. But who's to say that God's not the cause of all of that? I'm just, I'm just saying, we believe in a God who is the ultimate physician, the one who heals and when we pray to him, he hears our prayers and we know that he will answer them. Sometimes he answers them no. Sometimes he answers them yes. We prayed that she would not have to ever use a ventilator. We prayed that she would always be awake during it all. We prayed that she'd be in the best spirit. We prayed that she would get out of there very quickly. Even the nurses and doctors said that they expected her to be there for at least two weeks. Or at least three. I don't even remember. It was one of the two. Either way, I don't necessarily worry so much about what you think about it. I just know that our God healed her. And I praise him for that. So thank you, Lord, that you healed Liz. Seriously, he deserves the praise for this. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have, hit that thumbs up button. Leave a comment down below about anything that you saw in today's vlog that you think is funny or cool or anything like that. We'll talk to you soon. We love you guys. God bless. Hug. Oh,